Hey, Shalom. I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the positive great millstone. And Shalom to the elect out there that's teaching this truth and all sincerity. Now I want to do a little sit down today on um, how the law was already established from the beginning. I'm going to start off from um, Genesis 2 and 7. And the Lord power for a man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. So the breath of life, we got to see what that breath of life means. Because it's just not no, no wind, he just blew in his nose. I mean, that's just some, that's for carnal people, you know. So let me get this on um, Ezekiel 37. And then, now this is the chapter about the um, Valley of the Dry Bones. So I'm going to start off at um, Ezekiel 37 and 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord power, thou knowest. And again, again he said unto me, Prophesy these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. So he said that, he said prophesy unto these dry bones. And hear the word, um, what it said? I'm going to go to it again. Prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. So, he prophesied to uh, uh, basically a person that uh, those Israelites that was in a dead state of mind. You know, same thing with Adam. He he was in a dead state of mind until the Lord he um he breathed he breathed he breathed the breath of life into him. And we we'll keep going. Go go into it. Um, I'm we'll gonna go to um let's see. I'm jump down to seven. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and I and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. So yeah, they you know, that just means they um when Ezekiel was prophesying it to them. <clears throat> Yeah, they were getting it, but they didn't have that full knowledge and understanding of the word. Then I'm going to go down to nine. Then he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus says the Lord power, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. I mean, that's plain. I'm going to jump down to ten. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army. So they just mean when Ezekiel was prophesying, they was getting the full knowledge and understanding of the word. You know. So that was the that breath of life was that just that the full knowledge and understanding of the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now um go to another example. Of how the law was already established. Stay back in Genesis. Genesis 4 and 3. And in process of time. It came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground. And offering unto the Lord. And Abel. He also brought of the first name of his flock. And of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel. And to his offerings. Now First question I got for the you know some of these dummies out here is, you know, matter of fact, let me let me keep on going, let me keep going. And and Abel also he also brought I mean let me go to four, sorry let me start to four again. And Abel he also brought of the first link of his flocks and the fact thereof, and the Lord had respect unto Abel, Abel and to his offerings, but unto Cain. And to his offering, he had not respect, and Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. So, yeah, th this is the question. 
why did the Lord have respect to from to Abel, but he didn't respect Cain? Cause the thing is, they already they they already knew what they supposed to sacrifice, but Cain. We should already know who Cain is these days. Cain wanna, you know, take shortcuts and stuff. He, you know, he didn't wanna really praise the Lord how he's supposed to be praised and sacrifice what he's supposed to sacrifice. Let me go down to um keep going down to six. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wrong? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shall thou not be shall thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. And to thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. So the Lord he told he said, I mean you did right, you already you would you, you you already know you will be accepted. But if you do wrong, you are sin lies at the door. I mean that's just plain and simple. I mean this this is just this is plain. And, and, and I mean this is this is like you know baby food. You see, I already get this, but it's a lot of carnal people out here, and you know, especially the two thirds. I mean, just awful, man. Now I got something for this um for you pork chop eating niggas, you shrimp eating coons, all y'all. This for um, you know that the Lord blessed um, blessed if you bless all the food is clean. This the food was all uh, it was certain it was certain clean food and certain unclean food. We had a dietary law. We still got the dietary law. You know, and I'm just this just an example. Um, let's go to Genesis chapter seven verse two, and of a, and of every clean beast. Thou shalt take to thee by sevens the male and his female, and of beasts that are not clean by two the male and his female. I mean, so how did Noah knew what was clean and what was unclean? I mean, the law was stated from the beginning. That's their breath of life. It was given down from by Adam. It was given down from by Adam. That breath of life was the 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 um the wisdom knowledge of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Let's 